Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today I've got a very special request from a very special lady. Her name is Marion and she is one of my viewers. She asked if I had a crab cake recipe that I could share. So that's what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making some crab cakes. This is just going to be an extra video I'm doing for the day. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food and fun, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below for details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so to get started, first let me just say in the Midwest here, like I live like right next to the Mississippi River, nowhere near like an ocean and coastline. So it is hard for us to get our hands on, you know, good shellfish around here. And so I have been using a lot of times for my recipes that call for crab meat, I will use canned crab meat. And the last few times, I don't know if it's a different brand that I'm buying, but it has tasted really, really fishy. So I looked up what were the better brands, and this is kind of like a medium, like middle of the road for a can. I don't know that any of the cans they really consider to be good. But I didn't think this one was too bad. It kind of has like a cleaner taste to it, I thought, than the other ones. So it, this is the Geisha Fancy Crab Meat. That's what we're using. And then I'm also using a package of imitation crab meat, which I know isn't real, but I actually kind of enjoy the flavor of it sometimes. So the first thing I'm going to put in here is a whole sleeve of club crackers, which I went ahead and used my manual food processor to crush these up. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my bowl. You can also use panko breadcrumbs. I really like to use the club crackers because I think that they are the buttery, butteriest, if that's a word. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to dump my crab meat in here, which it's already pretty fine, but just to be on the safe side. And then I don't know that I can fit all of this in here, so I'm going to do this probably. Oh, maybe we can fit it all in here. Let's see. I think so. All right, so I'm just going to shred this up a little bit. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and add this to our cracker crumbs. I have got one third of a cup of mayonnaise, one egg, a little bit of fresh parsley. You can also use dried parsley if you don't have it on hand. About two tablespoons of, most recipes I'll tell you to use a Dijon mustard. I actually like to use a hot and sweet mustard. I just really like the flavor. So if you don't really like hot and sweet, just go ahead and use a Dijon mustard. A little bit of salt little bit of pepper, a couple dashes of hot sauce, and about two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good stir. All right, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to clean this up really quick. I've got some ghee here. So I like to fry it in ghee because it gives it that buttery flavor. If you tried to fry it in just plain butter, it would obviously burn because of the smoke point. The other thing that I will use if I don't have ghee on hand is I will use a butter flavor Crisco to fry these in. And of course, you can use any kind of oil that you have on hand. I just happen to like those two things because of the butter flavor that it gives it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we will get our oil nice and warm, nice and hot. All right, we are just about ready to start frying. So the next thing I want to do is kind of patty these up. I've got a nice large stainless steel scoop. So I just like to scoop them out into a little ball, kind of roll them a bit, and then I just press them down into some panko breadcrumbs and then flip it. And then I just kind of reshape it just a little bit, flatten it out. Sometimes I roll the sides also, but just like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and patty all these up and we'll get them ready. And if you watched a couple of weeks ago, I made some salmon patties and I actually used my hamburger press to make those. But those hold together just a little bit better. These seem to be a little more delicate, so I do these with my hands. All right, so off to the sink with these. And then we'll pull this back. And then I am going to fry these probably about three at a time. And you just want to make sure that you have enough oil or ghee in here that it comes about halfway up the sides of the patty. So we'll let these fry for a couple minutes on this side, and then we'll flip them and cook them for a few minutes on the other side. 
All right, these look like they're just about ready to flip. Oh yes, look at that beautiful golden brown color. These are looking and smelling perfect. I cannot wait to taste these. All right, so we're gonna take these three out. And a lot of times I like to drain my food that I've fried onto like a wire rack or something like that. So it allows the grease to drain away. But because these are so delicate, I usually just drain them on a plate with some paper towels. So we'll do the next three. Looks like our last three are done. Uh-oh, we lost a little piece. Poor guy. <laughs> okay, let's push this out of the way. And then I've got a little plate here. And this one here kind of fell apart too a little bit. So we will taste that one. We'll save the rest for our picture. And then of course I made a little bit of tartar sauce out of, I just mixed together some mayonnaise and pickle relish. I'm not sure if that's what goes in tartar sauce. <laughs> this is the way I've always made it. I think that's what goes in it. All right, so let's give this a try. You don't even need the sauce. They are flaky and buttery. I highly suggest using the butter flavor Crisco or using the ghee to get that nice buttery flavor. Oh my gosh, these are delicious. Best crab cakes this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh my goodness, so, so good. Definitely give those a try. And if you guys have a recipe, if you have a special request, be sure to put it in the comments below and I will do my best. So I thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.